quiet down, please. It must be safe. Okay. All righty. Ashley. Ashley. Oh, look, oh, look at the one. Uh, <laughs> okay, I had, uh, I'm in architecture, so yeah. I, I had, uh, um, was talking about uh, energy efficiency in green buildings. Yep. So uh, my line wasn't the best, but um, as I say, are green buildings efficient? Yes. But yeah, not as kind of catchy as it could be, probably. Well, do you think they are? Uh, yes, but obviously, um, other Ashley was explaining more, maybe having um, more negative uh, tones in, in the in the phrase just to yeah most people do think about the negative stuff so they'll probably read more into it. Yeah yeah. Yeah. Yeah so like if you um went out there and said uh, green buildings are inefficient does the does the article necessarily need to argue that point? No. No, no you can still you can still ask the question right but that w might create a bit more Interest. I, I mean, I don't know, but it's just ideas, right? Yeah. Um, LinkedIn, like, like cold calling is dead, right? If you go to LinkedIn's website, that's what it says. Oh, not their website, sorry. Their sales navigator website it says cold calling is dead, right? Now they've also got another. They've got they've got an ebook, right? That says 15 steps to increase your conversion rate when in, on cold calling. Guess what the ebook's about? Using LinkedIn. Using LinkedIn. That's correct. So yeah, they're practicing what they pre preach. And if you if you want to get some ideas, guys, on what um, headlines to use, follow the publishers which get the most engagement. It seems pretty logical, but um, that's how you should do it. If you want to know what groups your customers are in, look at your customers' profiles and see what groups they're in. It's all pretty straightforward stuff. Yeah. I had a, uh, a friend that's, mm. that's uh, I, so I plagiarised mine. Yeah.